Last week I posted an ISO test of the original Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, but while making that video I also did the same for the Panasonic GH5. So if you watch the Pocket video, the test images will look very familiar to you. But for those of you who haven't, I set up two different test scenarios. One with a lot of shadows and black in it, and another with some more highlights and an overall brighter image. I exposed the images properly at each ISO. I didn't just feed the sensor the same amount of light and then raise the ISO. To compensate for the increase in ISO, I used a slower shutter. And I used shutter instead of the aperture or using ND filters because I wanted the image to stay consistent across all different ISOs. I shot both the tests in both Vlog and Natural, and both the profiles were set to negative 5 in sharpness because I think the GH5 is plenty sharp as it is, and then left everything else at zero, including noise reduction. And at the end of each test I'll have a side-by-side -side comparison between Vlog and Natural so you can see the difference in terms of noise. The native ISO when shooting in Vlog is 400, and it can't go below that, so for Vlog the tests start at 400, but for natural they start at 200. And since the YouTube compression highly compresses the shadows of the image, I recommend watching in the highest quality possible. And I'll also show a version with the exposure raised a bit, in attempt to get the noise out of those highly compressed shadows. But I'm not gonna tell you what the acceptable noise levels are, I'll leave that up to you. Let me know in the comments what ISO you feel comfortable shooting at with your GH5. But let's dive into the test, I'll see you afterwards.
And that wraps it up for the tests. So up to what ISO would you feel comfortable shooting at with the GH5? Let me know in the comment section down below. But that wraps it up for this video. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see some more, and I'll see you next time.